Hey there everybody, it's me, Iron. I'm back with another indie game. This one is called Neon Noodles. It is by uh, Vivid Helix. This is an early access game that has, uh, has been in early access since November 2019. They uh, seem to be putting out regular updates for it. Um, this is a blind first look. I don't know fully what I'm in for, but I have seen little bits and pieces about it, and it looks really, really cool, you guys. I'm actually pretty excited about this, so let's jump right in. Let's see what's going on. Uh, so I, I appear to be on just a level selection screen. I see, oh, by the way, uh, this game has full gamepad support, according to the Steam page, so I am playing it with the gamepad, my Xbox 360 gamepad, uh, to see how that works. So we've got music and sound controls separate. Uh, resolution, full screen, keyboard layout can be changed, that's always good. You'd be surprised how few games allow you to change the keyboard layout. Not everyone in the world has a QWERTY keyboard. Uh, or exit game. Alright, so that's all. Not a lot of options, but, you know, we don't know yet what other options we might need. So let's jump on in. We've got a tutorial, sliced avocado. Welcome to Neon Noodles, let's start by playing an existing program, okay? Oh my goodness, there's a lot of stuff on the screen. Alright, so let's start at the top left. Controls, press the play button to start program playback. Top right says, uh, recipes showing how to make the required food. Avocado on cutting station makes sliced avocado. Okay. Okay. And I, my goal is to make five of them, it seems. Alright, in the bottom left, we have the program timeline. Contains the instructions the robots will follow to make the food. Okay. So this is this is basically a programming game. Um, I've seen this compared to, oh, is it Ars, Ars Technica? I think is the name of it. I'm going to feel very embarrassed if that's the wrong one. Um... I haven't played that game, but I have seen it, and it looks very similar. Alright, so let's play... How do I press the play button? Okay, is it start? It is, okay. Learning the gamepad thing. Okay, so it's... Sure, so you're programming a little robot. Robot grabs the avocado, slices it, puts it in the thing. Okay, and it seems to be going faster and faster as it goes through the repetitions. Cool! Oh! <laughs> Alright, no, no, no fanfare at the end of the level there, but... Again, early access, we will keep that in mind the whole time. Let's try level two. Okay, let's go over some basics like recording a program. That sounds like a good, good idea. Okay, so tutorial objectives, move cursor to robot. So I'm using the joystick, left joystick, open menu. Ooh, it does show, for for most of the, uh, the instructions on the screen, it has shown gamepad controls, but it looks like they haven't got around to this one yet. It still shows a mouse. So left click, I'm going to guess is the A button on the gamepad. I appear to be right. Okay, so start recording program. Okay, so click highlighted position to move robot. Again, uh, uh, again it is showing the mouse controls. I'm a little bit confused now. Just click. I'm not clicking, I'm, I'm moving the joystick. <laughs> I think that the, the tutorial instructions could maybe use a little bit of work. Click avocado consumer to sell avocado. See, again, I'm not clicking it, I'm just moving the joystick into it. So I think, yeah, I think the tutorial is only written for mouse and keyboard, maybe? Return bot to starting position. Okay, play reported program. All right, let's see how it goes. It seems to be working, uh, but I was only moving the joystick. I wasn't doing any actual clicking, quote-unquote, or pressing of the uh, the A button. Okay, I, at least I, I think I understand how it works. Okay, introducing instant recipes. Whoa, a lot more complicated here. Or at least it looks more complicated. So top right, I want to make five cut avocado and five cut fish, I guess. Move cursor to the bottom robot. Okay. Start recording program. Move bot to face avocado producer. Bump left to buy avocado. Okay, I think that's what I was doing. I think it's interesting it says buy avocado, because I'm not buying it, am I? I I'm, not, I'm not paying anything for it. I think it's just taking an avocado. Face cutting station, bump down to put down the avocado and cut it. Bump again to pick up the sliced avocado. Oh, that's interesting. That seems like something I'm going to forget that I need to do it twice. Okay. Generate return to start instructions. Oh, look at that. So I guess it's the X button. Play recorded program is the... Oh, hold on. They've changed it. Oh, no, no, they haven't. It's... Start. So the... The first robot... Are they both using the same... Wait, are they both using the same instructions? Or did the first one already have the instructions written? I'm a little bit confused on that. Alright, boiled rice and peeled shrimp. We'll, we'll figure it out. Introducing automatic and manual recipes. 
Play pre-recorded programs. All right. They have, it looks like mirroring programs, which makes sense. Um, I think I can see what's gonna happen here. Whoa, wait, what? Watch robots fail to produce the requirements. Yeah, stop program. Uh, stop. Edit the program for the first robot. Yeah, some, something, something, uh, went wrong there. I think it didn't, did it not pick, try to pick it back up, or did it not wait long enough? Step forward, uh, right arrow, right trigger, no, right stick, oh, right stick, okay, till after the first, here, okay, insert a wait instruction, the boil, okay, I'm, I'm looking at the top right now, the rice boiling recipe is an automatic recipe, rice on boiling station, then wait makes boiled rice, so I need to add a wait instruction here, which is... Why? Verify modified program by playing it. Okay. But the second robot is not uh, making the shrimp, though. Okay, stop program. Rice is boiled successfully. Click in between the two consecutive star symbols in the second program. <laughs> I think, uh... Left stick, no? How do I get to the second program with the gamepad? I really, really uh, am feeling like the uh, gamepad controls are very incomplete right now. I think I need, to, I need to edit it, then use the right stick. Yeah, there we go. Here, insert two more generic instructions. Shrimp peeling recipe is a manual recipe. Shrimp on cutting station, then action bump twice makes peeled shrimp, and then again to pick it up, I suppose. So I want to peel, 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 and then pick it up. Okay, that seems to be working now. So I understand it, however, I'm not very pleased with the gamepad controls, which is a little bit frustrating because I was really looking forward to doing a gamepad game. Um, as those of you who are regular viewers will know, I have some, uh, some wrist trouble. So any game that allows me to use a gamepad instead of a mouse is easier on my wrist, so I tend to prefer to use the gamepad. I think I'll figure it out. Save? Okay, save. <laughs> Peeled shrimp. Let's create our first setup from scratch. Ooh, okay. Move to highlighted location. Open menu. Place down shrimp. Got it. Place down cutting station. Got it. And place down shrimp consumer. Now place down robot. Got it. But menu for robot. Robot face left at the start. Okay, edit the program. Program the robot to peel the shrimp. I think I got this. Bump, 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 bump. Back to start. Or I could use the automatic return to start, but I think I got it. Do it. Yay! I did it, you guys. I did it all by myself. Well, almost all by myself. <laughs> I do wish there was some kind of something at the end of the level. I mean, I'm assuming they'll eventually add something to the end of each level. Like, da-da-da-da, you did it. With maybe a prompt before it just closes it and just uh, goes to the level select. But anyway, it's fine. I don't know why I have to select a save at every level, but it's fine. Maple beans. This recipe requires both ingredients to be placed on the boiling station. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. So I'm completely on my own now. I need to make five of whatever that is. So I got, uh... This? I don't know uh, why they were having me put the things so far apart. Seems like I should be able to do it just like this. Uh, robot's facing up, and that's actually fine. So, I'm going to have... Pick up that, turn around, drop it there. Pick up that, turn around, drop it there. Wait, 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 according to the instructions at the top left. Pick it up again, drop it off, and then what was returned to start? X. Do it. Yeah, yeah, you guys, I did it. This is my first proper doing it by myself from scratch. Guys, this game is pretty cool, I have to say. The instructions might be a little bit, um, 
a little bit confusing at first when you're using the gamepad, but I figured it out without too much trouble, as you saw. These histograms show your scores compared to other players' scores. Each bar represents a group of similar scores. Your current score belongs to the group represented by the white bar. Okay. I don't know what cycles and program size mean. Or bot area. Rectangle. Oh, okay. I think the, the, the third one is how much space I gave the bot to move. Which uh, is, I gave it the least amount possible, because I don't see any reason to make it move when it doesn't have to move. Program size, I guess, is the number of commands, and I don't see any way it could have been fewer, I don't think, so. Um, and cycles. Interesting. I have fewer cycles than most, but I don't know why that would be. I don't know much about programming, you guys. Don't know much about programming. Uh, let's do, I'll do one more level. Time to make some sushi. Uh, this is one of those games where, um, I don't wanna- I don't wanna spoil it. I don't wanna spoil it. I do feel like probably at this point you've already got the idea. If this is your type of game, it seems to me like you're gonna know by now. Um, and I don't wanna spoil a whole bunch of the starting levels by playing them all through on the video. So, alright, I need to make five sushis. So, I need rice, I need, um... Cut fish, I guess. And then I need to roll them into a sushi. This one's pretty complicated. All right, this is a good one to end on then. So in this one, I'm probably not going to be um, in, in the top percentage <laughs> of anything. Uh, I don't know how many, I'm assuming I get as many robots as I need, right? So we'll put a pot there, and, oh, rolling station there, we'll put fish there, cutting station, and there's the rolling station, and the sushi receiver. Can I put down enough robots? Okay, I can. Um, this is gonna take some trial and error, I think, because I don't know how long it takes to make the sushi. Like, there's not like a, a place where I can just leave stuff, right? All right, well, let's have you facing left. We'll write your program. And then this is weight. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, erase. Weight was Y. There we go. Pick it up, put it down, then return to start. Okay. You I want you facing this way. Your program is going to be this, cut, pick it up, put it down, return to start. You're going to be facing this way. I have a feeling this one's going to have to have some weight commands. Well, let's see what happens if we just tell it to do that. I'm sure that's not going to work. But let's just see what happens. Double use of station roll. Okay, so you... Do I get into your thing? Edit. I'm gonna have you wait first. Try again. Nope. <laughs> hmm. The game hasn't given me very much help on this, my friends. How do I move this over here? Edit edit your whole your whole deal. No 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 no. We're gonna up, 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 up. Actually, you know what? We're gonna move you here. Okay. You're gonna pick up a thing. Drop it off. Wait. Drop it off, go back to start. What happens now? Uh, 
Oh, it has to... It has to wait... This is why I don't normally, uh... No. Wait. Pick up. There. Back to start. This is why I don't normally do puzzle type games as first looks, because you guys have to watch me stumble through this. Okay. Um. Alright, I'm trying another thing here. We'll see if this works. Uh, I've basically just added a couple of wait instructions at the end of each of these so that they won't be trying to bump into each other, and then this one can just keep trying to make the sushi and put it away. Let's see if that works. Yes! It works! Oh no, no. <laughs> it was working. I think I need to make them wait even longer. I'm 1000% sure, my friends, that this is not the most efficient way of doing this. Of course it's not. Um, but as long as it does it, I'm satisfied, right? And then you all watching this, who are pulling your hair out and screaming, No, no, what are you doing? It's so much simpler than that. Well, you can get the game yourself and then you can do a better job than me. Because I obviously have no business doing this sort of thing. Oh, <laughs> we've got a pile up. Nope, that's not gonna work. Okay. Um, all right, I'm gonna pick at this a little bit more. This, uh, this strategy obviously wasn't the one, uh, but I'm gonna pick at it a little bit more and see if I can get this to work. Okay, I'm trying a totally different strategy now. Wait, pick up, turn, roller. Then... Wait, roller, pick up, sushi, deliver, sushi, back to start. Is that the correct way to do it? Um, it occurred to me, after longer than it really should have taken, uh, that actually I don't need a third robot. And actually it may work better if I only have two robots. This one making the rice takes longer than this one doing the fish. So this one will do the fish, get the fish on there, and then wait a bit. Might need to wait longer, we'll see. Meanwhile, this one's making the rice. Just after the fish is placed down, they'll place down the rice. Then make the sushi, deliver the sushi, and then go back to start. I, I think, in this case, all I have to do is fiddle with the wait time on that robot number one. So let's see if this works. No, okay, I haven't done the instruction correctly for the sushi, so... Bop it again. Pick it up. Deliver. Back to start. That should be it. So actually, I should be able to tell exactly how many wait commands I need. Uh, up, up. Because I think it should basically be the same length for both of them, right? Oops. There we go. Let's see if that works. So the programs are the same length, which means they're do both doing the same number of steps. Yes. Yes. Guys, guys, I think I did it. I did it. Oh my goodness, that's such a relief. <laughs> I was making it far more complicated than it needed to be because of course I was. Um, program size is very small. Bot area very small, cycle is very small. Is that, does that, is being all the way to the left good or bad? I think it might be good. I think I did a good job. Because I think I did a good job. Cool. Um, now I can return to menu. Awesome. That was... Um, I actually feel pretty good about that. <laughs> it took me longer than it should have, but again, I, I don't usually play programming games. I'm definitely not a programmer. Um, so yeah. I am gonna stop there. I don't know how many levels are in the game now. It is still in early access, but again, I think you get the idea. Clearly these will get more and more complicated. And if you like these type of, of kind of visual programming games, then this might be a good one to pick up. Or if you want to wait until it's out of early access, of course, you can just follow it on Steam. I'll throw a link in the description, as I always do. Uh, I think it's actually pretty fun. I might keep going with this one for a while, just um, because it's cute. I like the, uh, the visuals a lot. The interface is less than perfect, but I, I can see that they're working on it. 
Um, I don't really have any complaints beyond that. You know, some things just feel a little bit unfinished, but it's early access, so you, that's not something I can really complain about. Anyway, if this game is not your cup of tea whatsoever, and you don't want to play with Neon Noodles at all, don't worry, my friends, I'll be back soon with another indie game. And you never know, that one might just turn out to be your new favorite game of all time. Thanks for watching, folks, and I'll see you next time. Hey everyone, it's me, Ira. I'm Ira. I hope you enjoyed this video about Neon Noodles as much as I enjoyed making it. Don't forget to check out my channel for more videos about random indie games like this. And uh, if you want to give me some money, you can do that on Patreon. And I have stuff to give you in exchange for that money. So, just something to think about. Thanks for watching. I'm going to go eat some noodles.